Hey beautiful, welcome to Unapologetic at 50. I am your host, Sharon Fields. This is an uncapped community discussing real life issues. In your 50s, you have the right to say, I have no time for games. Never regret in the past or apologizing for wanting a better future. Join me and special guests as we discuss topics and provide tools to navigate our midlife challenges. Today's episode is sponsored by Kendra. Kendra is a modern wellness company that makes estrogen-free menopause essentials. Their line of products include daily supplements to help with focus, sleep, and a daily vaginal lotion that dramatically relieves our most intimate skin. All are designed to target and relieve the most disruptive symptoms of your menopause journey, including hot flashes, brain fog, mood swings, and more. If you're not sure what products are right for you, Kendra has a five minute quiz that offers personalized solutions based on your top concerns. I did it. Now I know what products are best for me. Go ahead, take the quiz. It's time we start talking about the change. Head over to OurKendra.com and learn how you can start your own couch conversations with other women. Use code UNAPOLOGETIC20 to get 20% off your order. Use the code UNAPOLOGETIC20 to get 20% off of your order. Welcome to this episode of Unapologetic at 50. The older I get, the new things I experience, new relationships and difficulties have caused me to look at the decisions I make in social interactions differently. Is this a little fake? You're not sure where I'm going with this, right? No worries, I shall explain. It's a fact that life is ever-changing. It seems to be changing faster now more than ever. In my opinion, this is greatly due to several things, like technology, global warming, the COVID epidemic, the lifespan of the aging community. Let's talk technology for a minute, which has afforded us the opportunity to reach people globally, shop for groceries without leaving home, outsource almost everything you need to be done to freelancers. You can create a business without large investments or gross overhead expenses. You can generate income and get paid in a few minutes. Show me the money. Telemedicine also allows you to see your doctor, be diagnosed and treated wherever you are. That's something, isn't it? iWatch can monitor your heart rate with an EKG. We thought ACH and direct deposit was everything. Now there's Cash App, Zelle, PayPal, apps, apps, apps at your fingertips. Easy access to everything. Global warming, some believe it exists, some don't. I'm not here to argue that. But when you look at the recent weather, ice caps melting, abnormal temperatures around the world, it makes you think. There have been multiple tornadoes that touched down in New Jersey the last couple of years. The frequency has increased. Two years of COVID with no idea when we will be able to travel without mandates and restrictions. Congregate with friends, family, attend social gatherings without the fear of being infected or infecting anyone. Will enough people get vaccinated to stop hospital admissions and death? Will there be long-term adverse physical reactions from contacting COVID or a class act suit from getting the vaccine? I understand both sides. 
It's a choice that affects everyone. The virus is not prejudice or racist. Tag one, two, three, you're it. Social services, economic disparity, and minority communities are. That's a whole nother conversation. As I think about the past and the present, I started to view life and react differently to situations and understand that there are lessons to be learned and changes that can be made. Does it help anyone to focus on the negative or the circumstances? The answer is no, but it is second nature to connect or engage with the negativity. Additional energy and effort is required to think positively. Yes, I am tired of social distancing as a single woman. I am ready to mingle, connect, and hopefully find a companion. What I realize is that I don't want to meet someone and be with them for the sake of not being alone. My time alone has given me the opportunity to work on me. Know what I want, don't want, will tolerate, or won't. I've heard women and men say they want a mate. A man or a woman is what they actually say and nothing else. My question is, so any will do for you? The answers are relative to race, looks, and finances. Self-awareness is the work that needs to be done. The definition of self-awareness is capacity for an individual to consciously know and understand one's own character, feelings, motives, and desires. Technology is great, but it has caused us to become a selfish people with less empathy for others. Instant gratification amplified. It's easy to fall in the habit of creating your own solitary confinement due to fear. FaceTime, texting, posting on social media is not the same interaction as talking to someone face to face, touching, looking into their eyes, or smelling the scent of their cologne or perfume. We must do what is necessary to protect ourselves and our loved ones, no doubt. Social isolation has caused more to suffer with mental health issues, insomnia, loneliness, and increase in the suicide rate. Physical issues linked to poor cardiovascular health and cognitive function and increase in body aches and pain. Stress can manifest in physical pain. There are more than 600 muscles in the body that improve stability, balance, and coordination. Movement helps to build denser bones. We can't sit here another year. Get up and get moving. Question, who is checking in on our seniors? There are so many that do not have access to the internet or Wi-Fi. They are unattached from the online mobile life nor do they know how to use the digital technology. Have we forgotten about them? They hold the wisdom of many years. Connecting with them on a regular, letting them know that they're not alone is very, very important. Taking the time to listen to their life experiences. Our history is as important as our future. I say this because I'm looking at life differently. What am I adding to make it better for me and for others? My focus is no longer on trying to keep relationships that were only meant for a season. I have learned what meeting people where they are means, and it's okay to love people from afar to protect your peace. Knowing who I am is more important than who people think and say I am. I may not be able to change the world, but I can change the space that I'm in. My body is a temple that requires me to treat it as so. Finding ways to reach out to others outside of technology is very important. Social isolation, social distancing, it has just changed the way that we are and it's so drastic. We have to recover. And the only way that we can do this is finding a way to reconnect on a regular basis. 
smiling. You know, it's hard to smile behind a mask. I get it. So if you can't smile with your mouth, the bottom half, the half that's covered, smile with your eyes. Give a nod. Don't walk around with a frown all the time expecting that there's going to be an issue. Expect that the day is going to be great. Expect that things are going to go your way. Speak things into existence. Like I'm going to have a better day. Today is my day. Everything will work out in my favor. Give thanks. Thanks for grace. Thanks for mercy. Thanks for favor. Here are a few steps, additional steps, because I just went off in a tangent. You know me. That's who I am. I say it as I feel it. But here are a few steps. Number one, focus on creating peace in your life. Remove stressors that you can control. Stop focusing on the negative. Find the lesson and the positive. Choose joy over happiness. Happiness is an emotion that can change from minute to minute. It comes from materialistic things and worldly pleasures. Joy is from within the heart and soul and it transcends. Number two, get to know yourself. What do you desire? What can you change to live a better life? What brings you joy? Set the stage for how you want to be treated. Number three, volunteer to help others online or in person. Donate time, items, funds to local charities. Reach out to a facility that maybe you can just listen to some of the people that are there. We all need some type of outsource. There are multiple ways that you can volunteer. Maybe you're a teacher. Maybe you can volunteer to teach someone how to speak English or mentor someone or help them with their school assignments. There are a number of things that you can do. Read books to the seniors over the phone. Number four, get up and move your body. Come on now. Take 30 minutes. Take a 30 minute walk per day or walk in place at home. Use technology to work out for 15 minutes, two times a day. Now, this is my thing. And I'm coming out with something that you will be able to download. You'll be able to use it on a regular, take it with you wherever you go. There are so many things that you can use in your home that can help you lose weight. I'm going to keep you informed on what that is and when it is ready for you to go ahead and pick it up. That was like on Martin. Rice and beans, pick it up. (laughs) I'm so sorry. I don't know where that came from, but it happened. Yes. (laughs) Would it be me if I didn't tell a joke or say something um, that was off kilter in the middle of my actual episode? But that's just being authentic to me. And I think that's what you guys like anyway. That keeps you listening. But let me get back on track, okay? Like I said, use technology. Work out 15 minutes if that's all you got. But do something. Get in the habit of doing something. 15 minutes, two times a day is 30 minutes. Increase as you go. Don't jump in and say, well, this is the new year. I'm going to lose weight. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that and do nothing at all. Start slowly. Each step is a step. Small steps, they work. They mean a lot. Eat healthier. Wean yourself off of sugary snacks. Foods that are high in fructose and carbohydrates. Snacks and carbohydrates create inflammation. A lot of us are walking around so heavy and so much pain. This from a number of things, but the one thing that I can tell you across the board that people have in common is inflammation in our bodies. And it has a lot to do with the foods that we eat and not getting enough sleep. So let's try to do better with both. Write a list of the foods that you, foods, excuse me, that you like and foods that you don't. Also include on your list 
foods that you are willing to try. Gradually remove the ones that are not healthy and replace them with the ones that you have tried. You should also get an accountability partner. It works, y'all. Accountability partners, they help you stay on track. They help you reach your goal. I'm an accountability partner. If you need help, just reach out to me. Let me know. Reach out to beautifulcurves365.com or you can just send me a message. DM me. I'm on Instagram. I'll give you all that information in a little bit, but I'll be glad to be your accountability partner. Check on family and friends. Make calls. Do Go back. Do the old thing. Go old school. Send a card in the mail. Do a drive-by when possible. Maybe the person can't come out of their home or their apartment or their facility, but they can see you out the window. It's different. We need to connect. We need to reconnect as soon as possible. We only have one life. It's time to live it in its fullest with love, thanksgiving, and gratitude. So until the next episode, I pray that you stay well. I pray that you make changes in your life that will help you become the best version of you. I pray that you will see that this life is not just about you. It's about you and your surroundings. It's about you and the world. Each individual makes up the world. The world is not one person or one situation. So we all need to do better. We all need to join together in some form of fashion to get past where we are in life right now is a whirlwind. It's tragic times. It just feels so heavy. I don't know about you, but I'm ready to remove the weight and we can do that together one step at a time. But first, you must start with yourself. Until the next time, toodles, remember to live, love, and laugh more. Thank you for joining me for this episode of Unapologetic at 50. Together, we will learn how to maneuver life's challenges while being our authentic selves without regret. Remember to subscribe to Unapologetic at 50 to be notified of new episodes. Don't be salty with me if you are the last to know and never apologize for being the best version of you.